welcome to our English news edition, The Major Stories. The head of state chairs the works of the 80th session of the Ministers' Council this morning. The President of the Republic is sponsoring the commissioning of the 4G Plus network coverage. Thank you for joining us in our newsroom. It is this evening that the festivities of the 41st anniversary of the birth of the Republic of Djibouti start. The festivities will be marked by the traditional military parade on 27 June, chaired by the head of state, a supreme commander of the army, Zixin Ismail Mergeli, followed by a wreath laying ceremony and preception for president. National et proclamé. La République, la République de Djibouti, une et indivisible, indépendante et souveraine, est proclamée. Sa devise est unité, égalité et paix. Also as part of the celebration of June 27, the radio television of Djibouti deployed its teams representing 80% of its technical aim and potential tonight and tomorrow for you to experience live these events. After a long way, it is indeed June 27 and at 12 p.m. will be proclaimed the independence of the country. It will be the triumph of the people behind his leader, the father of the nation, Hassan Gulet Abtidon, who will be the first prince of the republic. Under the chairmanship of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Mergeli, the Council of Ministers held this morning at the Presidential Palace its 80th session. And during this session, the Cabinet discussed and approved the various legal projects on the agenda of this meeting. As usual, the Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of Justice, Women Hassan Shah, reported at the main points of this meeting. Let's listen to him. It is under the chairmanship of the head of state that took place the 8th Minister's Council session today. The following texts were on the agenda. The first bill is amending the law on the organizations of the Ministry of National Education and Vocational Training. The purpose of the draft law is to modify certain provisions of the law of organizations of the Minister relating to the general Inspectorate of Education as part of the recommendations of the Symposium on the Improvement of Quality and Apprenticeship, the monitoring and supervisory body for teachers was strengthened by the recruitment of inspectors from the national education and training professionals. The second bill is a draft decree instituting the uniforms in school. The present draft decree is aiming at instituting uniforms in all schools. The quest for quality teaching and learning put the students at the center of the education system. The establishment of an environment conducive to these lessons and in particular the wearing of the school uniform is an essential lever to achieve these goals. The third bill is a draft law on the ratifications of the agreement establishing the African Continental Free Trade Area. The bill concerns the ratification of the agreement establishing the Africa Free Trade Area adopted on March 21, 1918 in Kigali to support economic development. This agreement signed by 44 African Union countries 
and economic development whose main objective is to gradually eliminate tariff between member countries which will enable the country to increase the level of trade by 2022. The fourth bill is a draft order granting the accreditations of professional degree on computer engineering of the African Institute. It is granted to the African Institute to Djibouti the accreditations of the professional degree in computer engineering in accordance with Article 5 and 6 of Decree Number 2014. This accreditation is granted for prior of three years. For a period of three years, the fifth bill is a draft decree of the state. The fifth bill is a draft decree on the state of imbalance degree. The purpose of the draft order is to create the state of imbalance diploma as part of the population health improvement policy and to meet the health human resources need. Imbalance training will be created. The paramedic is a vital link in emergency medical assistance and care organization. The sixth bill is a draft order on the state of diploma of caregiver. The purpose of the draft order is to implement the state diploma of caregiver provided by the Higher Institute of Health and Sciences. The role of the caregiver is to provide preventive maintenance, relationship, and health education. It contributes to the well-being of the sick and accompanying the gesture of their daily lives. The ministers also approved a draft resolution on the establishment of the state diploma for midwives and nurses. More in this video. The seventh bill is a draft decree on the diploma of auxiliary child care. The purpose of the draft order is to implement the diploma of auxiliary child care. Auxiliary child care is responsible for meeting the daily needs of the child, whether it is carrying, sick or disabled. It contributes to the well-being of the autonomy and development of the child. This project describes the training repository of the profession of child care assistance, the know-how and the associated knowledge acquired during the training leading to the diploma. The eight and nine bill are draft ordering to create the state diploma of midwife professional degree. The purpose of the two the purpose of these two decrees is to set up the state nursing and midwifery degree as the professional bachelor degree. The 10th bill is a draft order renewing the members of the board of directors of the Djibouti Research Study Center. The draft order is made in application with the provision of Article 7 of Law 19 of December the 3rd, 2013, reorganizing the Center of the Studies and Research, which specifies that the members of the board and directors are appointed for a period of three years, renewable by order of the Minister's Council. The 11 bill is a draft order concerning the compositions of the members of the board of directors of the Higher Institute of Health and Science. The purpose of this order is to appoint new members of the board of directors in accordance with the statutory provision, this structure, this structure is responsible for training qualified paramedical technicians capable of meeting the development needs of the national health system. The 12 bill is a draft to decree is appointed director of Mr. Dual Saeed Mahmoud is appointed general director of the National Agency for Persons with Disabilities. The 13 bill is a draft decree appointing to the Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Ibrahim Almi Mohammed, as the Secretary General, the Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Minister and Spokesman of the Government, reported on his participations to the delegation led by the President of the Republic to the 32 Extraordinary IGAD Summit on South Sudan, which has been held in Addis Ababa. On June 2018, the energy minister in charge of natural resources gave an account on his working visit made in Saudi Arabia on June the 7th, 2018. 
It was under the high patronage of the head of state, His Excellency Ismail Murgili, that has been held this morning, the launching ceremony of the Internet for a generation known under the acronyms of 4G+. This imp important event brought together senior uh, government officials, uh, members of the uh, diplomatic corps, senior army corps officials, engineers, and massive youth infused with new technologies, uh, propelled by the innovative po policies of the President of the Republic. Djibouti Telecom becomes the epicenter of the digital revolution and will allow the country to rise to the, to the international standards of connectivity. Djibouti Telecom has now moved up a gear, uh, opening a new page in its uh, history thanks to the 4G that will give consumers and institutions to connect with faster access but also to experience a speed like never been seen before. Uh, fiber is now pelting the entire uh, country and 4G networks provide faster to download speeds the many more advanced African countries. Note in passing that the 4G internet fully integrates the 2035 vision and with the necessary infrastructure and makes Djibouti a regional hub. On his arrival, the President of the Republic had a guided tour by the Director General of the Djibouti Telecom on the new facilities of the internet 4G. <laughs> And this is how the head of state of Sonia Erickson Company expressed himself during an intervention. Let's listen to him. We are delighted that Djibouti Telecom has partnered with Ericsson to launch the country's 4G network. This will enable Djibouti Telecom to capture the full value of connectivity to push forwards on plans to boost the 4G network and in preparation to bring 5G to the country. The launch of 4G LTE in Djibouti is highly important to bring high-speed data that meets the ever-increasing needs of consumers and industries. A big congratulations to Djibouti Telecom for enabling mobile broadband access through investments in ICT and infrastructure to support the growth in its different sectors, which can be connections, digitalizations of homes, government, and of course, businesses. Djibouti, of course, is one of the early members in the Smart Africa Alliance that Ericsson is also a member of an initiative leveraging ICT innovations to transform African nations, driving an adaptation 
into the digital world. In a speech, the Director General of Djibouti Telecom thanked all the participants who participated in this happy occasion, stressing that this day marks the conclusion of activities from the continuous work that started a year ago. He also said that the launch of the service of the 4G, known as the fourth generation, is a technological leap for our country to stay in constant contact with the technological world and to keep pace uh, with the ongoing development of the digital world. This is the best proof of the desire and commitment of our country to obtain advanced and modern technology in conjunction with the digital world, he concluded. And in a speech on this occasion, the Minister of Communication in charge of Postal and Telecommunications, Abdi Yusuf, pointed the The event that we have gathered here today, he, s he said, is part of the development of the telephone network throughout the national territory in Djibouti. The network will be equipped with Djibouti's unique and high-quality service. And this initiative is also uh, a, sp a part of uh, the wise policy adopted by the government of Djibouti, headed by His Excellency, the President of the Republic, to make Djibouti a regional center in the field of telecommunications known to the world. This huge project is one of the priorities of my ministerial department as part of our internet development policy. The project aims at bringing communication services closer to all segments of society. And to conclude, the minister uh, thanked the participants for the invitation and wished them a happy National Independence Day. In his address, His Excellency the President of the Republic, His Ismail Murgeli, stressed the importance of the official launching project for the service of technology 4G+, Plus, or uh, which the latest reached the new technology. Let's listen to him. Salatu wassalam ala rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mesdames et messieurs, notre pays procède au lancement officiel de son réseau mobile très haut débit basé sur la technologie dite the quatrième génération. The Republic of Djibouti is officially launching its very high-speed mobile network based on the so-called fourth generation technology. On this occasion, I would like to share with you in this event, which will undoubtedly make the happiness of our fellow internet users, but also to testify to a conviction that I carry, that I carry for a long time, that Djibouti must resolutely be in line with the major challenges of its time, such as the digital revolution. As we know, we live in a time when technology, information and communication are the parameters of a country's development for the global competitiveness of its economy. Like containers that transport goods at sea, submarines cables provide the transport of information. Virtually all internet and global communication flow through the submarine cable. It appears very clearly today that the world will be dominated in the 21st century by the country that will have the control of maritime and digital routes. And Djibouti, by its position, is already at the center of these issues. Djibouti is among those countries in the world to have this opportunity to be both a nerve center of international maritime transport and global digital data transport with the landing these submarine cables. There are potentially important technologies for Djibouti capable of providing solutions to its economy. These include big data, cryptocurrency and cybersecurity. Three essential technologies are the key sector of the economy, namely the port, banking and security sector. In the area of blockchain technology, Bitcoin that facilitate commercial transactions, the Djiboutian banking market must prepare to these technological developments and consider their adoptions. Our research center must develop tools for big data. Our university institution must strengthen the, the, the digital skills of Djiboutian youth. But also our technology companies such as Djibouti Telecom must offer technology based on connected object inseparable from the developments of the internet. And on the other hand, the President of the Republic, Mr. Ismail Murgili, called on Djibouti Telecom uh, to continue its efforts and enhance the services provided to the public. The President. La 4G that we will inaugurate today must permit the transition of Djibouti vers des écosystèmes intelligents qui améliorent la qualité de vie des citoyens.
the internet fourth generations we are inaugurating today should allow the transitions of Djibouti towards smart ecosystem that improve the qualities of life of every citizen optimize public services and infrastructure management such as the transport energy water and should contribute to the economic performance ladies and gentlemen facing these challenges that I just mentioned Djibouti Telecom has its quality of public and historical operator to be the spearhead of our digital ambitions it must make a strategic shift from basic operator to the key to a true key player in the digital transformations of our economy by co-investing with the private sector which has its part to play in the level for creating values such as access to information, knowledge, culture and entertainment. We are expecting to have a strong commitment to the scale, comprehensiveness, accessibility and quality of the network so that our country can be able to address the challenge of digital planning, the main developments of the region also. I know that human resources and therefore the skills are there, our engineers are our pride. I'm convinced to thank them to the enlightened synergy of means and skills. Our country has all the assets to succeed in its digital revolutions. May the Republic live long. Thank you very much. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Somali Mugiri, received today in the late afternoon at the Presidential Palace a delegation of high-level Somali parliamentarians led by the Speaker of the Assembly of the Federal Republic of Somalia. The head of state and his hostess uh, discussed the state of relations uh, of friendship and cooperation between the two countries, uh, the two people, the ways and means also that are likely to promote and develop them further. In prison of the Republic and his hostess then discussed the strategic partnership that the two nations maintain and offer the fraternal relations that bind the two nations. On the Jewish side, the president of the National Assembly, Mr. Mohammed, the Secretary General of the Presidency, Mohammed Bilal Wais, and the president of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the National Assembly, Abdul Rahman Awali Yassin, attended the hearing. And at the end of this meeting, the president of the Somali uh, Assembly made a press briefing on the steps of the presidential palace. Uh, in I took advantage, he said, of my audience with President Gile to thank him on behalf of the entire Somali uh, people for always helping our nation victim last Saturday of an attack, he said. And for his part, the Djibouti President of the National Assembly uh, welcomed the National Assembly Speaker of the Somali Parliament who is visiting the country and stressed the need and the importance to help the people of Somalia. At the invitation of the Chief of the General Staff of the Army Forces, Lieutenant General Zakiria Shah Ibrahim, on the occasion of the 44th anniversary of the independence of the Republic of Djibouti, his counterpart General of Abdel Fattah al Waik, Inspector General of the Loyal Moroccan Army Forces, responded favorably by sending a military delegation. This delegation is led by Major General Abdel Salam it, it is in this context that the uh, General Secretary received this delegation this morning, Tuesday, in June 26, in his office, the General Staff of the Armed Forces. The General first thanked the guests for responding for his invitation and took advantage of this meeting to highlight the different areas of cooperation between the two armed forces, especially the training of our military personnel. He added that Morocco and Djibouti maintain strong fraternal relations 
in the context of a military cooperation. This uh, Moroccan uh, delegation, in addition uh, part to participating in the part of June and 27, will have the opportunity to visit during its stay in Djibouti the Joint Academy of Djibouti Amiya based in Arta, the Army of the Air and the Services of Health of the Armies. And now moving on to the regional news, Kenya has received $200 million from the World Bank's International Development Association to manage the risks of climate change and natural disasters. Funding between the first drawing options for disaster risk and instrument developed by the World Bank and a tool in Kenya's disaster is also strengthened the government's ability to take proactive uh, uh, measures to manage the risks posed by natural disasters to the economy and contribute to the construction of the environment. According to the World Bank data, almost 80% of Kenya's land is classified as arid or semi-arid. Moreover, estimate the organization flooding that hit the country up to about 2% of GDP per year. It is here we close this edition. Thank you for joining us on RTD and happy Independence Day to you all.